Mad Max is a 1990 Nintendo game based on the Mad Max world. I'm not sure which movie it's based on, but honestly it doesn't really have much to do with any Mad Max movie. It's just a game that takes place in the Mad Max world and you are Mad Max. For what it is, it's pretty fun. Like, there's different kinds of gameplay options. There's just driving around this wasteland desert, fighting other cars by throwing dynamite at them or at these castles that are trying to destroy you, and also obviously to avoid the various roadblocks, to jump over various obstacles. From this place you actually go to other parts of the game, like there's this part of the game where it's basically like a rundown warehouse that has all these different valuables, and you're basically supposed to stock up on various things, like weapons and various provisions. It's much like Fallout in that regard, like you're going into some kind of abandoned or not so abandoned place and you're supposed to just get a bunch of uh, stuff to survive by any means necessary. If it means killing a bunch of desert bandits that are guarding it, so be it. And and then another part of this game is like these arena levels where there's this evil guy and he's going you know two men enter one man leaves basically and these battles take place in cars so you're driving around these car arenas and you're supposed to destroy all the other enemy cars and you do this by pushing them off to the side or off into like pits that open up once in a while. This is pretty fun because it's almost like a chess game. It takes some skill to master pushing the cars in. You're not supposed to use full effort to just constantly throw an entire barrage on the car and just push it forward. Sometimes you kind of stop pushing the car a little bit and let it chase you a little bit, confuse it a little bit, make the car fall into the holes by itself. It's like the deadly car demolition derby of professional boxing or chess. One thing that I like about this game is the driving controls. The car control is fantastic for a Nintendo game. And for the most part, the game looks good. I think the worst part in the game is the running around the warehouses levels where you have to pick up various provisions. I mean, it's cool that you have like this task where you're picking up things that you need to survive. That's, you know, it's almost like Harvest Moonish in nature. I like a game that gives you objectives, and the objectives are actually done live during your gameplay. It's like you feel satisfied once you collect some things that you actually need, like fuel or whatever. But the problem with this gameplay is running around on foot isn't as good as driving the car, which is pretty good for a Nintendo game. You run around all clunky and it just doesn't feel good. It looks like something Color Dreams would make. Also, I think you have way too much ammo. I mean, for the most part, in these kind of running around gathering provision levels, I used my turbo button to actually just continually shoot the enemies, and I barely ever ran out of actual gun ammo while killing the enemies. While driving around in the car, it's actually more challenging, because you have very few dynamite sticks to throw these enemy castles or enemy cars. A good way to think of this game is like an earlier prototype version of the Fallout games, just minus the RPG elements and plus some cool car driving elements. It's not a great game, but it's definitely playable, and I, I had some fun, honestly, playing it. Mad Max for the Nintendo gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 6.9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.